Welcome back to the show, everybody. This is the Upper Tier, and this is your favorite show of the week. Mine and the Dazzlers, Mystic Mac, beat the bookie match week 31. Darren, how are we doing, my man? I'm all good, Noel. How are you? Not too bad, a little bit jet lagged. Just back from Dallas, had a crazy week over there with WrestleMania and stuff like that and all. But uh, getting into it, we're back at it, we're back again, and it's another week and another chance for us to try and make our viewers and subscribers a few quid. I had a I had a near miss at the weekend. Had a near miss. Again, one of our favorite bets, Noel. It was the anytime goal scorer bet. So I'll tell you how close I got. My first goal scorer was Alexander Mitrovic. He got two. It's not a bad start. Yeah. I had our friend James Ward Prowse. I was about to message you about him and he scored. <laughs> right. So that was grand that we had two up. I then had Neil Melpe, who missed a penalty for Brighton. It's probably still traveling. You know, one something hasn't gotten the way of it because it was a really bad penalty. And then we fourth was Coy Havertz, who actually scored and it was given as a handball. So I kind of, I'm going to give myself a half mark for Havertz and a half mark for Mopey, you know? So I was, you miss, I was, I would was, say you missed out by one. I was one away and, and it was paying out nicely. It was, it was paying 30 to one and I had 15 quid in it, so 450 nicker. Very close, very, very close. Yeah. So I've, right. I've come back again this week, Noel, with an anytime goal scorer for you. Well, let's get into this one. First of all, I'll run down through the fixtures before you jump into the bets. So starting Absolutely. off, we're kicking off Friday night with Newcastle versus Wolves. Then we have the half 12 lunchtime, Everton versus Man United. Normally a feisty affair, but I think Man United will kick on on this one. Arsenal versus Brighton. Southampton versus Chelsea. Watford versus Leeds. Aston Villa versus Tottenham is the half five. Huge game in the top four race. Then we get into Sunday, and what a Sunday it is. Brentford versus West Ham. Leicester versus Palace. Norwich versus Burnley. And Man City versus Liverpool. That Sunday is kind of like a pro wrestling card, where you start there with two good matches, and then you have a, a, a deep downer, and then you come into the main event, isn't it? Yeah, they're, they're not getting you too excited before the 4 o'clock, are they? <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah. um, right, go on, kick us off. Give us your first pick for the week. Right, well, my first one is an anytime goal scorer. Yeah. And um, considering the caliber of the four players I'm about to name, mm. it's a very tasty price, which is what we like. So, Arsenal at home to Brighton, Alexander Lacazette, Ronaldo, and Manchester United away to Everton. Yeah. Xiong Min Son away. For Spurs at Aston Villa. Yeah. And James Madison at home for Leicester against Crystal Palace. Lacazette, Ronaldo, Son, and James Madison. 40 to 1 any time. Lacazette's a big call, isn't it? It is, but he takes the penalties. Okay. Yeah, interesting. 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 And the, the last it. time we put him in a bet, he got it up via penalty as well. Mm. So. That's where I'm going on this one. Just wondering, I'm just wondering how Arsenal will perform against Brighton after that slapping up from Crystal Palace. Slapping up. Well, I have an anytime goal scorer as well. So anything, you, anything you can do, I can do just as well. <laughs> of course, I have to put my boy Ward Prowse back in there again. You slag me about him every week, but last week he came up trumps after you said well, it's, it. It's not, really, it's not that really I slag you about him. Every week uh, you put him into your bet, he has a stinker. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And we did say last week, the week I'd be away would be the week he'd do it. Yeah. So and interesting. He did. So I have Ward Prowse. I have Jaden Sancho. I have Kai Havertz. I have Mo Salah. And I went with one more, Mikel Antonio. 48 to 1. 48. One more, one extra player. One extra so, player. So a little more risk. But yeah, mm. something wrong with that. Okay. Absolutely. Yeah, five quality players all uh, always in and around the goals. Um, yeah. yeah, so that was my anytime goal scorer. 
Shall we shall we go with the both teams to score next? Yeah, why not? Go with both teams to score, yeah. Right, so so we've gone Newcastle and Wolves. I've gone Watford and Leeds. I know I've, that I've gone Leicester and Palace. Yeah. I've gone Villa and Spurs. <laughs> yeah. And I've gone City and Liverpool. What odds did that give you? 12 to 1. I got 8 to 1 without... What was the one you had? Wofford, was it? Wofford and Leeds. I left Wofford and Leeds out. I had everyone else at 8 to 1. Well, there you go. You could, look, you could go either way, couldn't you? You could. Yeah, absolutely. You, you could, could take your eight or you could roll the dice and go for, for 12. I'm just... I'm always worried sometimes, you know, when you include the Friday fixture... It kind of normally yeah. sometimes feels like the lunchtime Saturday fixture when you include yeah. it as a back killer. That's the only thing. Yeah. But um, that, you'd have to think those goals in Wolves and Newcastle, wouldn't you? You um, would. You would. Absolutely. Yeah. Nice one. Um, did you do? Did you do a, an accumulator? I did a top four race ACA. I did an accumulate accumulator actually, no, yeah. Mm. So I did. It's not necessarily a top four one. But I did a nice little accumulator, I have to say. And when I did up the price, I thought to myself, there's nothing wrong with that. Nice. Yeah. So I'll tell you what I did. I don't think you'll be a, a massive fan of this. But I did Arsenal. Yeah. I did Leeds. Okay. I did West Ham. Yeah. I did Leicester. Okay. And I did Man City. Okay, what did that give you? 45 to 1. That's not bad. That's not bad. Um, well, I did a top four race, Aka, as, as, as I suggested to you. And I have yeah. all the contenders winning to keep this top four race really, really interesting. So I have Wolves. Oh, you, 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 oh, Wolves, right, yeah. Wolves, Man United, Arsenal, Tottenham and West Ham. Okay. We, 54 to 1. Right. Not bad. Not bad. Odds are great. I love yeah. the odds. Not bad. I love the odds, I have to say. Yeah. They're tasty odds, no, they're tasty. They are. Did, now, did I say they were tasty? Very tasty. Very tasty. Very tasty. I have a really tasty one for you in a minute. Okay, well, before we get into that, let's remind our viewers and subscribers, if you are watching the show, always hit a like and subscribe and share the podcast. Let's try and grow this. And also, drop your picks down there in the comments. We'd like to see what you're thinking of this weekend in terms of your picks. And always gamble responsibly, and as we say here. Gamble podcast. responsibly. Yeah, and if you're, not, if you're not going to gamble responsibly, gamble with someone else's money, not yours. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> um, give us your last one. So my last one is is my favourite bet. It's my it's my go to bet every week. It's result and both teams to score. Now, I've only gone for three here. So I've gone Newcastle and both teams to score. That's a massive shoe. Nice. It is a massive shoe. I've gone Leicester and both teams to score. I think I know where the third one's going. And I've gone Chelsea and both teams to score. Chelsea and both teams. So you've gone totally against the grain from the farm guide from this the weekend just gone. Well, not totally. I mean, Chelsea lost, absolutely, yeah. Um, but I, 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 I'm going to back them against Southampton. Yeah. Um, Leicester... Should have beaten United and were very which, unlucky which, not to. Which, which we know is a tough place to go, St. Mary's. Yeah. For the Chelsea yeah. game, yeah. Le- Leicester should have beaten United. You know, they deserve to win, let's be honest. Palace are um, on fire. Palace are on fire, but I think that was a big game for Palace with it being Vieira mm. and Arsenal and stuff. So I don't I, necessarily I, think it should be. I, I would also say, though, that Palace's form is way better than Leicester's form in terms of consistency. Yeah, but I think it's again, you know, I think uh, I think I like the fact that I it's at the King Power probably helps it a lot. That's King Power, you know, Palace don't travel as well as they do at Selhurst Park, you know. Yeah. And and Newcastle, I think Wolves are 
are, are getting close to running out of steam. And I think Eddie Howe won't like what happened with Newcastle last week. That will irk him greatly. Good result. So, the last good result, though, was silly. That Aston Villa 2 1. Yeah, it was a good result. Yeah, absolutely. Mm-hmm. So. Yeah, no, listen, it's when when you hear the odds. That has to be a very good price. Well, it's Newcastle, Leicester, and Chelsea. Both teams, or sorry, all three teams to win, and both teams in the game to score. So, 80 to 1. Yeah. Yeah. I, I'd say the odds are reflecting what I spoke about, probably. Yeah, Newcastle, Newcastle are 4 to 1. Leicester are seven to two, and Chelsea the shade under three to one, with yeah. result on both teams to score. So yeah. eighty to one, I have to say, I'm loving that. I'll have fifteen euro at that at the weekend, and I hope to pick up twelve brick, and I will be delighted if it happens. Absolutely. I would love it if we beat them. I would love it. <laughs> Excellent. Well, <clears throat> my final bet couldn't be anything other than a title race special, could it? For the weekend that's in it. And I'd, like, and I'd like to remind our viewers as well, we will be dropping a preview for the Man United or the Everton Man United game on the Stratford Sessions. And we also will be dropping a big match title decider preview for Man City the, versus Liverpool. The, the, on Stratford the, session one, the Stratford session one could be more like a, um, a counselling session. I, I don't know. There's a lot going on there, isn't there? There's a lot going on with both clubs at the moment. You know what I mean? It's... um. Uh, this, from my view, and we won't we won't give too much away. This looks to me like a foregone conclusion with what's going on, you know. Um, and normally it wouldn't be. Normally I'd look at Everton versus Man United as being a right kick about, you know what I mean? Yeah, but, uh, absolutely. Times have changed, my friend. Times have changed. Um, but anyway, my title race special would be Liverpool to grasp the title with one hand and win two one, and Mo Salah to score first. Because we know he takes the penalties as well. 45 to 1. And that's it? That's great odds, isn't it? There's absolutely nothing wrong with those odds. Absolutely nothing wrong with them. Um, and is it, you know, absolutely out of question? I wouldn't think so. I would say, you know, it's definitely one of the hands that's on the table. If you told me City 1 2 1, Liverpool 1 1 2 1, or the game was a 1 1 draw. I'd absolutely believe you. Yeah, it's going to be a tight one, you isn't know? it? Yeah, it's going to be. Yeah, it's going to be as, as tight as an owns knickers, really. Isn't it? It's going to be who rocks up with those Lee Rowdies in the shorts, ready to become the kings of English football again. That's what it really is about. Um, but it's going to be I, absolutely I, I, massive. I hope, I hope we get a situation where, you know, we get. The, the talking points being about the teams rather than, you know, the officiating or VAR. That's well, the only thing I hope for. I'll, I'll be discussing that in Lent at the preview. Don't worry about that because um, <clears throat> both the referee nomination and the VAR nomination are absolutely ridiculous for this game. Um, but that is for another show, my friend. Um, and that will be coming it's- up this week and releasing this week prior to the matches happening and stuff like that. So we have a lot of previews. We're back this week. This has been your Beat the Bookie Match Week 31. As always, like, share and subscribe. And obviously drop your picks down below. Gamble responsibly. Um, and if you don't want to gamble responsibly, then don't blame us. Till next time, my friend. A pleasure. As always, brother.